But you should bundle up yep. right now because it's just going to get colder. It is, and a wind chill factor tomorrow, actually in the 20s. Wow. So, but you know, here's the thing, temperatures today were above normal. Right. And you know, sometimes we get a little spoiled by yes, that. Yes, we do. And then we, we do. have to remind ourselves we're still entering the winter season. So look at the highs for today. Actually got up to 48. Normally we're at 39 degrees. We're going to be mid 30s by tomorrow for the high. Uh, but we came off a morning start of 26. Now we didn't set any records. No record highs of 68 or record lows of minus A, but we are closer to where we should be for this time of year, especially come tomorrow. If you're heading out to Arrowhead uh, Stadium tomorrow for the game, even though the temperatures don't look so bad, it's the wind chill that's going to be a big factor. It's going to feel like more like 23 when you're talking about before the game and around 28 for kickoff. And then by the end of the game, it's going to feel like 25. And there are your numbers on the thermometer reading. A lot of cloudiness to start the day out. And then the clouds slowly depart. With a little sunshine helping us out by late afternoon. Beautiful shot of the plaza on a Saturday evening. And we're down to 41 degrees. The clear skies, dew point at 32. Relative humidity at 70%. Wind speeds about 5 miles an hour. And the pressure is rising. Still holding on to the 40s, Maryville along with Hiawatha. Trenton down to 38 degrees. Totacothia at 41. Uh, 42 in Lawrence, Kansas, down to 41 in Ottawa. Butler, you're at 43. Warrensburg, you're at 41 degrees. And the wind flow has been very nice. It's been very cooperative, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Not that bad, but they are going to pick up the pace come Sunday afternoon through the evening hours, and that's where you're going to feel wind chill. Wind chill is really not that big of a factor right now. It kind of feels like in the mid-30s. That's not so bad, but tomorrow more like the 20s. Here it is. This is your colder air mass over the Dakotas and parts of the Midwest. That is slicing southeastward. That's the leading edge of it. 41 for Kansas City, but look at the contrast. Like South Dakota and North Dakota, 26 degrees. Minneapolis at 27 degrees. Des Moines at 37. You kind of get the idea. It'll be dry, but you're going to feel the difference, especially come tomorrow afternoon. Now, if you're heading out this evening, not bad. Clear skies down to 35 degrees at 9 o'clock. Right before midnight, we'll say about 33 overnight lows in the upper 20s. But then by tomorrow, temperatures will struggle. You'll get a little sunshine uh, beaming through, but 32 by 1 o'clock, 34, 3 o'clock. The high tomorrow, and that's really pushing it, 36 for the high. And your wind speeds, 10 to 20 miles an hour, gusting at times at about 22 to 23. Nine-day forecast that uh, dry trend continues for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, so you're welcome in the new year with a high of 37. 43, so back into the 40s we go for Tuesday and Wednesday. Still dry conditions all the way through Thursday, the high of 39. Our next chance of any rainfall will come uh, probably Friday afternoon into the evening with a high of 44. That carries into the morning hours on Saturday. Saturday's high of 42, and then next Sunday, a week from tomorrow, 43.